but this looks flat so you get to see the white portion of the model so I think that is what is so interesting about the louvers is the way it it kind of plays with uh, depth I actually had no preconceptions of studio coming in really just from what uh, the tours I had taken as a high school kid here and as, uh, you know, talking to people once I got here freshman year about it. I know before I came to Ohio State, I, I tried to learn as much about studio as I could before I got here to better understand it. And I watched videos just like this one and people would talk and I still wouldn't know what they were talking about. The studio environment at Knowlton has been a really fascinating sort of cultural experience in general. For our first year design studio, we um, sat in a big room with each other and did tons of hands-on stuff with other students that you could bounce ideas off of and faculty were always around and available. You're sitting there with 15 kids in your own year all going through the same thing, all dealing with the same problems in your project and you have one really fabulous faculty member all the time there that's during studio hours after studio hours, before studio hours, doesn't matter. They're always there, whether through email, whether in their office, always there to answer your questions. The professors all run them kind of differently. Some of them will spend the entire studio time sitting up at a table with everyone sitting around the table and showing what work they have and everyone talking about it together. The critiques that you get is not only just one-on-one -on -one critiques with you and your uh, professor, but uh, we also have group pinups, and those group pinups, you get to see uh, students work uh, that's also in your class. We can see all the other studios in the building from the undergraduates to all the way down to the final year master's students in landscape architecture or architecture and you can go up to planning and see what they're doing. You can see across the different studio spaces, you can see uh, across the desk of your peers, see what they're doing and that really fosters conversation about it and really makes you talk to people. I feel like uh, comfortable uh, asking other classmates for, uh, for help or assistance on a project, not necessarily them doing a the project for me, but uh, just getting a different perspective or look at uh, how my project is developing. As much as we all help each other within our studio, and we all have people who specialize in model making and people who are really good at the computer animation part of it, and people that are really good at just you know thinking through the way a building works. Uh, so even within our studio, we get a lot of great opinions and, and really great um, feedback from each other, and we become kind of a, a little family, and we push each other to, to work harder. We still also get to kind of aerate that a little bit by walking around and seeing what all the other groups are doing, and seeing how even just a class class, you know, behind us is doing things so differently than the way that we did it just last year in the same studio. So a big part of studio life is the reviews. They're similar to our midterm and final exams, except in architecture we have mid and final reviews. And so what happens is you take your final project that you've been working on, you bring it to the review space and architects, professors from Knowlton come down, you talk to them about what you've been working on for the past five, ten weeks. First few reviews, it's nerve-wracking. The first thing you think about is, are they going to like my project? Did I do it well enough? Is everything the way it's supposed to be? But it's really interesting to see somebody's perspective that hasn't seen your project for ten weeks in a row and hasn't seen it develop, and it, they, they really have some good feedback. It's the constructive criticism that they give you that you can take back and make things better the next time around. And that's continually what architecture tries to get you to strive is that you're not going to be perfect, you're not going to be the next Michelangelo in a year, but you can continually work and you continually make things better. Mm -hmm.